What up, what up, people on YouTube? So if you've spotted the uh, last couple of videos, putting the bearings on the swinging arm, here is the swinging arm going back in. Basically, you wiggle the thing in, you put the bolts in. You put all the bolts in there. You then go to your downloaded manual, which you can just type in PDF, CRF workshop manual, and it gives you all the torque settings you need. It gives you everything. So, with much, uh, or without much further ado, let's nail it all back in. Swing an arm bolt, 65 foot pounds. Sixty-five foot pounds, and all the other bad boys, thirty-two feet pounds. So let's get pounding. One. Didn't actually do that one, but we'll check it again. And that was a 14, so we will need a 14 a socket. And before we torque this up, a little uh, a little reminder that I'm only 922 subscribers off of being monetized, and then possibly I might be able to afford some safety footwear. So just 922 subscriptions to go, people. How long do you reckon that might take me? Well, if we ask Susan that one, I'm sure it'll be infinity. Because uh, I'm disliked by YouTube because I may have typed, let's go Brandon. So uh, I'm on a hit list. I'm ring fenced and nobody gets to see anything I do. That's why I don't spend hours editing stuff. There's no point. Nobody gets to see anything anyway. But I'll still keep putting it up because the two or three of you that do get to see it might find it entertaining or useful. So, that pretty much ties up putting the swinging arm back in. The rest of it is just uh, easy peasy. So I'll see you lot, probably still with these things, later.